20 years ago. Well, I started off always using the purchased commercial freeze dried yeast. Um, 20 years ago, spy yeast blimped up. I didn't even read the directions much. Designer yeah. yeast. Uh, and, and just uh, rehydrated, added to the tank. And never worried about it, never thought about it, never had problems. And then, you know, more recently, uh, recently in the last 10 years or, or something like that, people started getting more concerned about the, the nutrient level of, of the grape juice. And we started getting a lot more stuck fermentations. And I was really gun shy, as you would say, about using native yeast. Native yeast I would associate with more producing wines that are, could be a lot of defects, right. um, vinegar problems. All of those. So I was really a good check yeast. But my commercial yeast, I don't know if they, if they changed the way they started producing them or what shifted. But all of a sudden, everybody, you had to, you had to measure your nutrient level of the juice. Then you have to start adding yeast nutrients to get the commercial yeast to go to full dryness. And then so I started experimenting with just the native yeast without doing any of that stuff. And I've started having much more success with the native yeast. And um, generally, I find that they produce cleaner wines. And I don't know if cleaner is the correct, correct word, but I, I have less problems with the native yeast. And they kind of tend to produce wines that are um, a little more interesting. But I don't know where that yeast comes from. I'm, I'm well, that's a, that was my follow-up question. Is like, could it just be residual kind of yeast that have just hang, hung around that were commercial at one time, and that's like the, the unknown that you're working with? But well, there's been a lot. I guess there's been several studies, and I haven't read all the studies. I've read a couple of them, and I, I certainly like the studies that agree with my thinking on them. <laughs> 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 and, and the studies that I like. Are the ones that show the yeast? We the, people talk about the native yeast of the vineyard, mm -hmm. and a lot of studies show that it's not really the yeast coming in from the vineyard. It's the yeast that you already have in, right. floating around in the winery. Right. And it doesn't have to be exactly the strain you may have purchased five years ago, because they, they do also mutate, change, yeah. whatever. It's all it's a combination. It adapts to their environment. They're probably become stronger. And yeah, they're a combination of things. Yeah. And I, I really do believe it's the yeast that you have in the which is, you know, the wine, physical wine is part of the tomorrow. Right. 